Hey guys, some gamer dude here. I will be honest with you. I've seen a lot of games die. I know how this game goes. You learn the patterns. Force of Villa's on that path. It's been there for a very long time now. It's just festering, waiting to die. It might not die fully, but it will never return to a healthy state and will never reach the levels it was during Grim and Alice in terms of popularity. At best, we're probably looking at something around UFS level popularity and Forceville Co will likely have to abuse the player base hard with low pull rates to maintain profit. Grim or Alice era ease of card availability and price is probably long gone. But it's more than likely it will descend to the point where it's unprofitable, at least in English, and die. The game isn't unique like UFS and there are greener pastures out there. You have choices. Europe will be better off. They apparently like putting up with bad situations. Though Dragon Ball Super is hitting there soon. Wonder if it takes them by storm too. So let's put the problems together because Force of Will is a shit show of a game and I don't believe Force of Wilco has the right intentions to fix it. The card balance is nearly non-existent. It implies they don't test cards. The game goes from one deck meta to one deck meta. Wind is broken or near broken due to being green with counter spells from Magic the Gathering. The developers have an un- healthy obsession with cards that cost nothing to use. The story is boring, wastes characters, and is either extremely obvious or ass pulls. But I've gone over this before. You know all this. There is more curious things that have happened. Community participation is really down. The US Facebook used to be bustling. Now is kind of a ghost town. Reddit was steadily growing upward during Alice and got as high as 120 comments on a previous thread during Lapis. Now has 20 per norm. 49 as a Bike. This is where the game was at mid-2016. Massive growth and massive loss over two years. I've seen it stated, oh, it's summer, and oh, they moved to Discord. Well, it's winter in America now. Things barely picked up. It was barely any better in autumn. As for Discord, bit of a ghost town too. Community participation is down no matter which way you cut it. You'd think Facebook would have more comments on their official Facebook, as people would generally have that, but no. Official Facebook page comments are about the same as Reddit. I want to talk about the GPs because there are a ton of anecdotal evidence of GPs being sub 100, some as even as low as 20s. But guess what? Unless those GPs have 200 plus players, data on attendance is hard to find. They just don't record it. It's obvious why. It reflects badly on the game and stifles growth. But it goes hand in hand with the lack of interest in the game shown in the community. Frankly, with all the shit Force of Vilco themselves have caused through their bad research and development and just general incompetence, I think people have moved on. Back to Magic, onto Final Fantasy or Dragon Ball Super. Maybe back to Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't know. In English speaking communities anyway. I will make note of that because I am well aware the game is more vastly popular in Europe than anywhere else. But also no, Dragon Ball Super is hitting France soon. I don't know how popular Dragon Ball Super would be in Germany, but I'd be worried if I were Force of Wilco and gave two shits about Force of Will itself. Force of Wilco likes to use ICV2 data to promote when they reached 4th place. They're now at 6th, but ICV2 only uses some store's data, not the whole market. This means the Force of Will and the ones higher than it probably have more sales, but it also means the ones below could surpass it. It also means non-ranking games could be far larger than expected. Expected. So last time we discussed how to fix Force of Will. I frankly don't think it's hard. I think you could set it up within a week. Maybe a month if you had to hire some new blood and fire people. But frankly, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think IG's prime directive is to make a good game, and I doubt Force of Will can be a good game until it's no longer profitable and the IP is available for purchase. Force of Will needs its own Jasco games. In the recent posts that I've made videos on, IG went on and on about globalism, global community, unrealistic nonsense about people flying all over the world to meet friends they met during a card game somehow. Idealistic nonsense. The game itself was a freaking footnote. He doesn't care. The game itself plays second fiddle to IG's ideology. How can you get things done when the CEO, the man running the show, is more focused on what is essentially politics rather than produce a quality game? The house is literally burning all around him, and he's the dog in the picture saying everything's fine. He even openly states he'll pick and choose who he'll listen to, not listen to everyone, make his own analysis, and do something. He's too interested in using the game to jet set across the world instead of having his company produce a good quality product. 
IG is the personification of everything wrong with force of will. He is, he is killing the game himself through his lack of focus on what really matters and frankly selfishness. I may not have liked Jordan Blanco, I don't like people who can't be straight with yes, no and I can't say yet, but Jordan was at least more interested in the quality of the game. IG just isn't I won't at the very least put in a director who genuinely cares. Everything feels aimless, lacking focus, just like him. The community sees this, they see what stupid decisions the company makes. They know and are becoming very brazen and vocal about it. What I don't see is them understanding how bad things are and what the real problem is here. It's IG's company. That's the problem. The game desperately needs a good game director, someone with the game's quality first and foremost, someone who understands game design, someone who can act as an advisor to IG so that he at least sounds like he gives a shit. But it's not going to happen. Why? The company is super small, running on the smell of an oil rag. Last I heard it had around 10 employees. Maybe more now because of casters, but that's a creepy shit show itself from what I hear. Banned cards in set 1 after the release of set 2 sounds so healthy to me. But the games aren't doing well sales wise. They probably don't have the resources to hire a managerial position. IG needs to step up. The lead designer needs to step up. If they have one and it's not a free for all, they won't. They're satisfied with how bad things are. If they weren't, they wouldn't have let the cavalcade of shit shows through the Alice and Lapis clusters oozing into Raya. They would have learned from their mistakes, analyzed data, took in comments, but they didn't. And you know why? Through my experience, most game designers are incredibly arrogant about their work and blame the player for the meta's problems because it couldn't possibly be their own incompetence, could it? I don't expect Force of Will to get better. I expect this to be it till enough people get jack of R&D's idiocy and leave dealing the death blow. You've seen the mass exodus. The game is hurting. The shit show the game has historically been is well known. There are greener pastures out there. IG doesn't care about the game himself and has shown extreme arrogance in regards to its quality. So if you genuinely care about Force of Will, start saving. Stop buying, start saving. Start a development team and develop fan run sets. Run the game properly. Then eventually when it does die, buy it from IG. Just sup under new management and new owners on the box and you'll probably do better than it ever would have done under IG. Be Jasco Games. This has been some gamer dude. Please comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.